Hi everybody, Paul here again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust a water wall pressure tank, also referred to as a bladder tank, to the correct pressure. This blue tank is my water well pressure tank. These pressure tanks use compressed air in a bladder to push pressurized water out of the tank and into your home to maintain constant optimal water pressure throughout your home. More importantly, these pressure tanks protect the life of the well pump and prevent water hammer which can damage pipes. However, in order for the pressure tank to do all these things at optimum performance, it needs to be set at the correct pressure. So the question is, what is the correct pressure for your specific pressure tank? The answer is simple. This is the pressure tank, and this is the well pump pressure switch. The inside of the pressure switch cover will give you the necessary information to determine the correct pressure. Before removing the pressure switch cover, first turn off the electrical power to the well pump, which will turn off the power to the pressure switch. A lot of these pressure switches, including this one, are wired with 220 volts, which is extremely dangerous. If you're electrocuted with 220 volts, you could die. So be sure to keep children and pets away from the area as well. If you're not comfortable doing this, then you'll need to hire someone. To remove the cover, loosen this nut counterclockwise and then lift the cover straight up. This is a picture of the inside of my pressure switch cover. Most pressure switches will have a PSI setting of 20 to 40, 30 to 50, or 40 to 60. As you can see, mine has a PSI setting of 40 to 60. This means once the pressure switch has been adjusted properly, the well pump will turn on at 40 PSI and turn off at 60 PSI. In order to adjust the pressure tank to the correct pressure, we need to use the pressure switch PSI setting of when the well pump turns on. Whatever that PSI setting is means the pressure tank needs to be set at 2 PSI below that. Again with the power turned off to the well pump, next turn on some faucets and leave them running to empty the water out of the pressure tank. As the water in the pressure tank empties out, the pressure gauge by the pressure switch will eventually drop to zero. Once it drops to zero, you can then adjust the pressure on the pressure tank. Now you can check the air valve on the pressure tank with a pressure gauge. These air valves are just like a valve on a bicycle tire or car tire. Release or add air as necessary to make the pressure 2 PSI below the pressure switch setting. Again, my pressure switch setting is 40 to 60 PSI, so my pressure tank needs to be set at 38 PSI. If you have a pressure switch setting of 30 to 50 PSI, the pressure tank needs to be set at 28 PSI. If you have a pressure switch setting of 20 to 40 PSI, the pressure tank needs to be set at 18 PSI. The pressure gauge shows 38 PSI, so the pressure is good. These tanks hold a lot of air, so if you need to add air, you'll want to use a portable electric air pump. Once the pressure tank has been adjusted to the proper pressure, first turn the faucets back off, then turn the power back on and you're done. It's also a good idea to check the pressure in the tank at least once a year. I hope you found this helpful. And if you like this video, please hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and please be sure to subscribe. God bless you and have a great day. Bye for now. Okay, Sparky. Wait. <laughs>